Hello everyone. I went to my mailbox and I shared with you a big giant parcel that I received from Teddy Blake, which was the handbag, the, the bucket bag, which I absolutely love and I'm so thankful to them. If you haven't seen that, I will link the video down in the description below or up in a little card. However, inside my box, in my with my PO box, I did get some more goodies. Look at this. I'm so happy and grateful. Thank you so much to all of you who think about me and take the time to put together a package and send it to me. You guys are amazing. I want to say thank you to Gretchen. I got your postcard. This is one thing I am so, so happy about. I asked in a, I think a video in the summertime, I said, one of the things I would love to do is put together like in a four by six album, you know, just a regular picture album, postcards, and keep that as like a keepsake. One day I might look down or look back on my YouTube stuff and be like, these are the people who watched me and listened, uh, not only for my shop with means, but actually took a little bit of your time and interest in, you know, what I have to say on a, I don't know, about nothing really, but you guys just enjoy spending a little bit of time with me and I love that you guys take the time to send me a beautiful postcard. So I want to say thank you so much to Gretchen. She sent this from Texas and it's a historic landmark built in 1896-97. It's the courthouse in the Square Museum on the first floor. She's written me a little personal note. I never like to share that or read it because that's for me but I just thought the postcard was lovely and I appreciate that you have contributed to my little collection so thank you so much then and oh my goodness Victoria I don't want to post your info here has been anxiously awaiting her aunt keeps messaging me asking me if I've received the parcel I did I'm so thankful thank you so much this is the third parcel you've sent me you do not need to send me things um I am just I love the wrap, it's so cute. I actually, when I put, po bleh, pulled it out of my mailbox, I had a bunch of people looking at me. So I thought, haha, so it's definitely the packaged colors because they're so pretty. Um, the, I do apologize that I didn't get to post sooner, but I did have to post Teddy Blake and then I, I had to t find time to film these things here. So I enjoy opening my mail when I have time and patience and I'm not rushed and the kids are not running around screaming because then if they come running into the room and interrupt me I get all flustered and then I'm like it takes away from the fun of opening these parcels on camera and I love sharing them with you guys oh my gosh I love it I recognize this this is too funny so I sent to Victoria a little parcel oh my gosh and I think I said, oh my gosh, that's too cute. I love it. I love, love, love. So I repurposed the little Simply Earth box and I put some a little wrapping just to, you know, cover it all up. And I think that this is the same little box I sent to her and she's redone it and then put little stickers as an added touch to it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. You are the funniest. I love it. Thank you. Now, if only I could open the box. How does this thing open again? It shouldn't be that hard, right? Two. Here we go. And ah, oh my gosh, I see little paper crafts, and that always makes me so happy. So there's like these little embellishments that she's made. I don't know if you can see them. They're super cute. And there's a little puppy on this one here. And she's written me a personal little card inside. You have, I noticed that. I love it okay so I wish you all the best with your move from Manitoba to BC I absolutely love BC I'm not sure where you are living in BC but I lived in Tawasin BC and worked in Vancouver for a year after graduating from university so that always holds a special place in my heart and I absolutely love it uh, oh my goodness explored a lot on my own did a lot of soul searching out there while, while I was by myself um, didn't know a single soul so I Drove the Sea to Sky Highway a ton of times. I highly recommend you going out and exploring and doing those fun things. It is a huge change of scenery. I, I think you are originally from BC if I'm not mistaken, but it is a huge thing if anyone ever has this opportunity in their life. BC offers just this, oh my goodness, like very 
different lifestyle than here in Ontario. I'm born and raised in Ontario and British Columbia just, there's something special about that place. I don't know if it's because of the sea because I have been to Newfoundland. I've been to Nova Scotia and I've been to New Brunswick and I've been to Prince Edward Island, which I absolutely love Prince Edward Island as well. I've been very lucky to explore a lot of Canada. However, I never lived in those provinces for an extended amount of time. Uh, with BC I did and I was on my own so you have to really like you know count on yourself and British Columbia was probably the perfect place for me to to do that and to have been able to have the opportunity to work at, out there and just do things um, and explore and have time to to travel that highway and all the way up to Whistler and the mountains they're just so humbling and it will always contribute to who I am. So if you have a chance, if you're new to BC, which I don't think you are, but if you have a chance to, to do those things and go explore, and I don't think White Rock is the way it used to be when I was out there, but White Rock was another one of those places that was very grounding when you walked out to the beach. Uh, there were a couple other places that the tide would pull out, all, like really, I think it was Delta area, Langley Beach area. The tide would completely pull out, like just out there would be no water and it would just be the muck and the mud <laughs> the bottom of the ocean and you could walk that forever and walk it back before the tide would come back and that was really I think a wonderful experience as well I mean I've been to the beach so many times I grew up a lot in Portugal as well and having the experience of going to visit with my grandparents for the summer and spending a lot of time at the ocean there but I never saw the tide go out the way I mean you could always see it go out in and out quite a bit but not enough where you could walk you know two kilometers out onto the ocean surface like the, the floor the ground of the sur the ocean is just absolutely I don't, it's a humbling experience. I cannot describe to you how impactful it had. It had an impact on my life. And then also the mountains in BC are very humbling and it just makes you realize we are all just these tiny little specks on this beautiful ball of an earth. And we're so, I don't know how to explain it, but we are just so lucky to, to be who we are and that the earth like supports us. I don't know how to explain it, but anyways, when I think back of, of BC, I just think of like how fortunate and how uh, grateful we should be as the human species to be amongst all of the things, the trees and the mountains and the water and the ocean um, and the animals and everything. And I just, BC did that for me. Ontario doesn't, I'm sure if I, I was exploring here like I did out there, I probably would do the same for me. But it's my hometown, It's you're on autopilot, you drive to work, you pick up the kids, you go to after school activities, and it's like zoom, 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 zoom. And when I was out there, I was on my own, I didn't have children, I wasn't married, it just, life was different, right? So, but even in Ontario, I had that opportunity and I still didn't ever really grab it, um, or it didn't really give it to me. And when I went out there, it really makes you realize how um, how important we as humans, or how not important as you like we are as humans on the earth because we're just these tiny little things, but we think we're these great big things and we're so important and but we're really not. And when you look at the vast, you know, enormity or severe, like how big these mountains are, and you're just like, wow, like I'm this tiny little thing, and there's. This, anyways, I'm going off on a rant. I should be opening up Happy Mail. So anyways, continuing on here from Victoria. So she has sent me a package full of, oh, and by the way, your aunt emailed me and she told me she's created a YouTube channel. So I'm looking forward to actually going over to her channel and checking out the craft room because that's super exciting. It looks like you've printed these little guys out and made stickers. I think you have little planner stickers and stuff. Oh, I love it, the hydration bottles. Yay, I actually need little hydrate hydration bottles. I need water right now. I'm just like talking and talking and my mouth is so dry. So they're all the little hydration bottles. My daughter is going to be like, Mom, can I have this sticker? I already know it, watch. She's gonna ask me for this one. That's the color of her water bottle. She loves these teals. So, so pretty. You did a really nice job creating these. Do you sell them? You should start like a little Etsy shop. I bet you have one. 
that's awesome. And you made some of these as well, planner stickers. Oh, I have to do a plan with me. It's one thing I haven't even had a chance to sit down and decorate my planner in months. I write lists now and I haven't even sat down and like with my planner. Look how beautiful, you made these. Oh my gosh, I love that. The little leprechauns and the little clovers. Let it snow. Oh, I have to use them. Thank you so much for printing. How do you make them? Oh my God, I'm so impressed. Oh, there's like sweet dreams. Oh my, I'm gonna have a blast using these. Oh, is this a Christmas one? No, it's a coffee one. Yes, need that one. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. This is so beautiful, so thoughtful. And I, I don't know if you uh, know, but I used to post um, plan with these on the channel, like with my planner. I think you kind of are newer to the channel, so you probably didn't see that, but I love using planner stickers, I do. So those are gonna come in handy. And then you got me little laundry ones. Okay, I'm gonna confess, I do laundry every day. Every single day I do a load of laundry. And so my planner would be covered in these little laundry stickers. Aren't they the cutest? And that's like my laundry basket. It actually looks like that. So cute. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm such a lucky girl. Thank you so much. And mermaids clips. These are gorgeous. So if you haven't really followed my channel or kind of picked up on it, um, I'm a huge mermaid fan. Love mermaids. Just love them. And even my screen, my, what is it called? Screensaver on my computer is an, and like a really black and white vintage mermaid. And my daughter's always like, mom, you have a creepy picture on your computer. It's not creepy at all, but she's, she thinks it is. Stick it club. These are so darn cute. I love them. Little paper clips. They're like rainbowy oil, like the oil marbles effect. Did you ever play with marbles when you were a kid? Always reminds me of those little marbles. So pretty. Oh my gosh, you sent me so many planner stickers. I'm so excited. Now I really need to sit down and just do a plan session. Like just sit down, have a nice cup of tea and plan away. Look at that. You sent me all these awesome stickers that I must use now. Thank you so much. I love it. You have, st oh my gosh, ah, I'm warm. Girl, you stuffed me full here, look at this. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love her, she's so cute. And I love the tail. I've done little cutouts like this with my Cricut machine with the glitter paper from the Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness, oh, these are so cute. Did you make these too? Ah, I gotta put a paper clip on that. That is the freaking cutest little narwhal or whale ever. A unicorn whale or a narwhal. Sweet. I think you made these. You made these, didn't you? I am so impressed. I am so impressed. Like honestly, this is the cutest stuff. Oh, an avocado and it's glittery. How did you make these? Oh my gosh, I'm like, and a banana. These are the cutest. I am not giving these away. These are mine forever and ever. Look at this little piggy. Hello, he's so cute. Isn't he the cutest? Oh my gosh. These are like the cutest little, oh my goodness, I love them. Look at this little guy. He is so cute. And he's got a glittery hat too. Oh, these made me so happy. Thank you so much. I love them. I think I have a new obsession. Now you just got me started on other ideas. Ah! New little paper craft thing to do is collect decals now and laminate them because they feel so nice. I'm in love with this little guy. He's so cute. Oh, you laminated this. I'm using this as a bookmark. I'm gonna even hole punch it maybe and put a little tassel on it. I am using this as my bookmark. I'm currently reading um, Jodi Pico, I think is her name. The Plain Truth, oh my gosh, love the book. I am loving it, I just, I, I'm kind of slowly going through it, but oh, these are cute too. 
they're actually like reinforcements, but they're like little donuts and I'm gonna use them in my paper crafts because they're just too cute. Too cute, I don't know where you found those, those are the cutest. You spoiled me. Now I have like, um, my birthday is in February, so I could use this one here in my planner. And there's like my, my husband's birthday coming up and my son just had a birthday two weeks last week turned 12 I can't even believe that like how did he turn 12 and there's little happy birthdays and little little a little bit more the few happy birthdays and then some more planner type like flags and stuff in here you really took a lot of, oh and these are stickers thank you so much so much time to cut these out for me oh my gosh I love them thank you so much and aren't these little bags the handiest little things from the dollar store you just put your little stuff in it and oh my goodness thank you so oh my goodness there's just so many things in here you don't have to send me all this stuff this is so cute so cute literally a little tiny box filled with goodies right tiny box filled with goodies so awesome and some more planner stickers here and these are actually all stickers as well with sticky back Netflix, I own a Netflix subscription and I haven't even watched Netflix in forever. That's like a nice reminder to take a break. I don't take breaks. I need to take a break. Movie night, Netflix. I should go for a date night with my hubby. That is a cute little reminder. Thank you. I need to schedule that in. And then there are tiny little, oh my gosh. I love how you actually did that. They're like little stickers and they turn, turn, turn them into like little pockets little red truck guy I don't know where you found these they're too cute so they're all like little stickers and I'm gonna use these I always use them my daughter likes using little stickers too Merry Christmas the little penguin that's my thing that I do kind of for my my boy I always like wrap his stuff in penguins and give him a penguin Christmas card There's a little gingerbread and a little deer and more penguins so cute thank you so much oh my gosh there's so many little gifts you stuffed me like so oh my god i'm gonna have to go through all of these in like individual it with individual time to look at them all look at all of this goodness look at that little latte cups and oh my goodness do you see you better be making a business out of this girl because you're super talented. There's a little garbage. That looks actually like my little garbage can outside. Well, it's, it's quite big. <laughs> There's a little garbage stickers. Let's see. Yep, these are all little garbage stickers. Garbage day, garbage day. Now, I'm pretty lucky. I'm not typically the one who does the garbage. But my husband always asks me, is today gar is it garbage week? Because we have a system where it's every two weeks. Um, so we have recycling every week and we have compost every week. But then we only have garbage every two weeks. And you're only allowed, I think, two bags out on the curb every two weeks. And he always asks me, is it garbage week? Although he takes it out. Sometimes I do help him. But he's typically the one that's responsible for that. So I have to put it in there. Maybe I can put it on his desk oh these are awesome I always love using these little felt stickers too super cute well these ones I don't think are stickers but you can still turn them into stickers when you're doing paper crafts ah love it and it matches the little rainbow oh my gosh that's gorgeous oh I love it thank you so much that's going actually I think this is what I'm going to use as my as my little bookmark because I think this is just way too cute and I gotta use this in my planner, but this is so cute. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're probably all here and are probably tired of it. I every time I walk into Dollar Tree, I check if they have the gel glue at my store. We haven't had it in over two years, and that's one of the biggest regrets I ever had because this stuff works so well. And so today, oh my gosh, thank you. You go, <laughs> thank you. I said, you're to make me cry. I don't know why, like a bottle of glue, but thank you. You just like, you guys are amazing, but you just listen and 
that means so much to me. Thank, thank you so much. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> you sent me little, um, little luggages. Thank you so much. That really does touch me a lot because it just means that you guys listen. Thank you. I, I cannot say that enough. Thank you. Um, this one is super cute too. I love that you laminate them because it just, they'll last forever and it feels, there's something satisfying about it being laminated. It kind of reminds me of when we were kids in school. These are adorable. Oh my gosh, love them. So this is from Victoria and Emily, which is her aunt and she says it's the packages from both of them. So I want to say thank you to both of you, not just one of you, but thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have spoiled me. And this is a little, oh, it's like a little tape runner. It's, it's donut shaped and it's a little tape runner, I think, because, or a little white out. I think it's white out. See, there's a little, and then you just roll it across. Super cute. I haven't seen anything like this. This is so cute. I don't want to break it. Oh my gosh. Post-it notes in a coffee shape. I love it. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. And I love stationery. So you guys probably know how happy this. Oh, and I love these. I actually absolutely love using these, especially with my work stuff. I, they are actually really handy. Super handy. Writing tabs. These are 48 in a pack. So these will make great use in, with my work stuff. And here's some laundry, well, dryer, laundry, fold, dishwashers. Um, you can use the, yeah, little laundry, wash, 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 fold, fold, fold. They're super cute and they're all colorful. Thank you so much. I didn't know you were into planner stuff. So now I have to kind of like check and see what's going on out there with the planner goodies because you never know what I might find you. And I love this little glitter washi. It's gold and purple, my favorite color. And a little pack of, these are always candy, eh? The little, uh, what are they called? I guess like protectors, little protectors for your, when you're writing. And you sent me a ton of tags, which are beautiful. I have never seen tags this thick before. Not sure if you guys can see that. Look how beautiful they are. Oh, look at that, the glitter on there. Actually, these match. I have um, some really beautiful translucent stickers that I ordered on AliExpress. They're going to match all of these. Thank you so much. They're beautiful. And she's also put like all this little pretty stuff in there to make it look all pretty. My donut just ran away. And a nice, beautiful pack of colored pencils. So these ones here are actually four different colors. I have never tried these or used them, so I look forward to built-in sharpener, refillable colored lead. I look forward to actually writing with those. And I am a list maker, so I'm always, always using stationery. Pens, papers, and pencils are right up my alley, and thank you so much. Thank you. Everything was beautiful. Everything. I am absolutely in love with these little guys, too. These melted my heart. Oh my gosh, I love them. Thank you so, so much. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The next package is from, coming from Cape May, New Jersey. You will probably recognize your box if you see it. But I'm sure that there's a little note inside saying, yes, there's a card saying who it's from. So let's see. Ooh, it's pretty. This now is fall. Look at that little pumpkin. Do, do you guys recognize a little pumpkin? We never did get them here in Canada. I looked for them, but never found them. It's so cute. I think you made this card and it's absolutely gorgeous. This one is from Kim. Kim, thank you so much. Thank you so much for thinking of me. And I'm going to read your note, but then I'm going to um, edit it out of my video. Oh, thank you. Yes, I didn't recognize. I'm not sure that I recognize you. So I appreciate that you um, told me that you watch my videos, but don't comment all the time. But if you want to say hi, now I will know who you are. Um, thank you. Thank you for watching my channel. I'm so glad to hear that it inspires you to create things as well. And oh my gosh, my favorite thing. Shall I open it? Look at this. Ah, a 
pocket letter and it's beautifully wrapped. Okay, wait, I'm gonna save this for the end because I love pocket letters. Okay, let me put that to the side. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. I love how you did that. It's a personalization. So beautiful. The little the little leaves here with the little wood decal and then you put little jewels and you made your own little um, like packet, I guess. Like a, it looks like store bought, but you can tell it's like, been, you know, it's cozy and homemade. It's not Dollar Tree stuff. Um, a Dollar Tree banner. It's like a personalized banner. So beautiful. Apple cherry um, tea. Apple cherry black tea. Ooh, I like. I look forward to trying that. Thank you. I love teas. You guys know that. Oh my gosh. Uh, cranberry and sweet orange bolero. Another item we do not get here. No bolero from in Canada. I've never seen it. This one here is the body cream. Oh, and I was gonna spoke myself in in the in the news. I'm gonna just try it on my hands because I actually need some cream. My hands are feeling a bit dry. That smells so nice. Cranberry and sweet orange and another little bolero. Cranberry and sweet orange and this one here is a body oil. I don't know if you can see that. Have any of my friends from Canada ever spot a bolero at their Dollar Tree? Anywhere in the in Canada? I have never spotted it. So I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I didn't, I never was able to get these here. I don't know if I missed them. I got the Christmas ones, but I never did get the fall ones. Thank you so much for thinking of me. So there's the little jewels again, a sequin, the sequin, sequin, and the little uh, leaf along with the beautiful metal decals that say thankful harvest and welcome. Thank you so much. I see something here. Honestly, you guys amaze me. Thank you so much. I don't know why the glue is like affecting me today, but ah, oh, thank you so much. That really means a lot to me. Thank you. You even put like a little decorative line. Oh my gosh, I love your paper crafting. Love it. And this one is the super glue gel and it came with a free tube in the US we never ever got this line here in, in Canada we had a, a little one and um, and I bought it and then we never saw it again and uh, thank you I mean it means a lot to me thank you so much thank you oh my gosh you sent me two wow thank you I really appreciate it. guys I'm gonna be like loaded with super glue now forever I better be making all the crafts for you guys right that is amazing. Thank you so, so much. And I have lots of beautiful um, filler for a basket too here. So I'm going to keep that. I always repurpose it. Anytime you guys send me some of this in, in the baggies, uh, in my little boxes, I always keep it in a Ziploc bag. And then I put it inside my, um, I put it inside a little basket. And this must have fallen off of, of something because it's here inside the little, inside the little bag. Uh, in the box. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. Okay, so let me put this here. Now I'm looking forward to opening my pocket letter. All right, let's open this up. So, you use some really pretty fall ribbon, which I love. Now, do you make pocket letters um, normally as well, or is this something like that you just started, or how, how does that... Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. I love the hedgehog. He's the cutest. Fall into autumn. Fall is the best time of year. Home cooked goodness. Beautiful. I love your shaker. Look at that. And then you have like the little fox with the little buttons. Hello fall with a little pumpkin. And little cozy fall day with a little oh my goodness thank you so much and this is super cute I love these little guys too and then you filled the back up with all sorts of goodies called swashy tape pearls um, oh you, you did write me a little card here I'm gonna read that one too you sent me some tea I'm gonna share with you the little embellishments on the bottom oh you live at the beach lucky lady Wow Oh my gosh, you love paper crafts like me. Yay, it's like my favorite thing. It's my favorite. 
Oh, thank you. And thank you for sharing a little bit about yourself. And I love these and I'm very curious what they are all about. So I'm going to pull them out if you don't mind. And one thing about the pocket letters, I don't just, I don't take the back out. I know they're supposed to be samples and I'm supposed to use the goodies and put them, but you know what? I'm so terrible. I feel so bad taking apart my pocket letters. I have a full binder of pocket letters you guys have sent me and they're all intact. I'm so afraid to even use any of the, the little paper crafts that you guys sent me. I just, I, I just like treasuring them. Does anyone else do that or do you use them crisp and cool? So you've sent me all these beautiful embellished little goodness i love a little pumpkin side i don't know why pumpkin's just cute oh and he's cute the little owl cutie not cute and the little pumpkin patch and live love uh live laugh and love and happy harvest oh my gosh i love them so so cute thank you so much for cutting those out as well and putting them in and I probably should try to use them because I'm terrible. Love the way you did the little shaker too. And you've also filled them up with a little tea and some more beautiful little die cuts here in a different, it says autumn and autumn. And it looks like you may have cut it with your Cricut or Silhouette machine because they are beautiful. They're perfect, beautiful. Thank you so much. And guys, I just, I want to say like, I really, really mean Thank you. I'm sorry I'm saying it a hundred times, but you really do touch my heart. And as much as I love doing um, this channel, I love it, love it, love it. Um, sometimes there are days that are a little bit hard and I'm just like, oh, like, do I just not post today or whatever? But you guys are the reason why I do. I keep going because you guys give me so much motivation. So thank you so much. And I am so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Until next time, everyone, have a wonderful day.